Loba is the perfect legend to quickly get looted up, find good loot, and keep yourself topped up, even if the end game starts getting really, really sweaty. She's viable for strategies even in professional play with the right teammates, but at the same time she is so easy to play you can do it with only one hand. Stay tuned to learn how to play Loba in Apex Legends Season 12 in this episode of Guide Wednesday, where I use my over 6,000 hours of Apex experience to teach you how to play Apex. At the moment, Loba is the 10th most picked legend in the game, seeing play from all levels of play ranging from the lowest pub lobbies to high tier professional games in the Apex Legends Global series. Her passive ability and ultimate helps with identifying where there's good loot and keep the slowest looters in the game without having to run around all game. But at the same time, she also keeps the team supplied if they are locked down in the final rings. As such, Loba has both of a low skill floor and a very high skill ceiling. Let's take a look at her abilities. Loba's passive Eye for Quality allows the Loba to see purple, golden, and red tier loot through walls for up to 112 meters. Loba can also ping these items through walls up to 12 meters away. It's worth noting that this does not include loot ticks or death boxes. The Eye for Quality is a great way to get an idea whether the area that you are about to enter already has been looted, or where teams may have been set up with armor swaps. It can also be a very valuable tool if you're contesting a team for drop, since you can see if there's any valuable armors and instruct your team to drop there, giving you an insanely huge lead in the following teamfight. And if you are on the offensive, the same passive may let you notice if an item suddenly disappears from your view, indicating that it could be an enemy nearby. Loba can also see the contents of unopened care packages, which can go hand in hand with her ultimate, which we'll cover later. Loba's tactical burglar's best friend allows the Loba to teleport to hard to reach places or escape quickly by throwing a jump drive bracelet. Activating her tactical instantly throws Loba's bracelet and teleports her to its landing spot. When a bracelet is midair, you can activate your tactical again to force it to almost instantly land straight down. Due to the ballistic trajectory of her bracelet, Loba's bracelet's maximum range depends on where you throw it. If you are on even ground, the bracelet can be thrown 71 meters away, and if you are on high ground places such as buildings or towers, it can reach over 100 meters away. Another quick tip for the bracelet's range is to jump right before the throwing animation finishes to extend your range slightly farther. Once you have activated Loba's tactical, there's really no way of going back, as it can be cancelled in any way, shape or form, and you will go wherever the bracelet lands. Try not to use it if you aren't 100% sure that you want to commit to the teleport. There is also a short window after the teleport where your animation bracelet finishes before you can shoot, so avoid jumping straight into an enemy team. The bracelet also makes you unable to shoot or do any damage during the animation, so instead if you're looking to flank, you should try to teleport behind or above an enemy, not only to get cover for your animation, but also from the natural advantage of having the high ground. You can also throw Loba's bracelet through windows and most types of smaller gaps that you normally can't walk through, allowing you to make flanks that nobody might expect. Keep in mind it's very loud, and the enemy teams will be extra cautious after hearing a Loba teleport. The trail is also very visible, so if you're using it to escape, the enemies will probably start following the trail instead of you. That being said, if the bracelet lands outside of the map or in an out-of-bounds area, the bracelet will instead be returned to Loba and she'll do this little finger wiggle. There's been plenty of instances where this triggers even if the bracelet lands on normal ground, but expect it to work consistently as of Season 12. The bracelet can also be activated on the move, on the zip lines, jump pads, or even gravity cannons. You can actually use this to throw off attackers as you fly really far on a gravity cannon, but it will always bring you back where the bracelet lands. The bracelet's range can be extended if you bounce it off of a jump pad, just make sure that you don't stand close enough or you will teleport on top of it straight away. If you get silenced by Revenant Silence or take a ray for Ash Portal when your bracelet is mid-air, it will get cancelled. And if you hit a Cryptos drone with your bracelet, it will force it to teleport. Due to the nature of a bracelet, it can also be used to reach spots that are impossible to reach otherwise. All of the known ones have been patched out, but you used to be able to teleport into certain rocks or under the ground to wait until the match is over. Finally, her ultimate, Black Market Batique, places a portable device that allows you to teleport nearby loot to you and to your team's inventories. Each friendly or enemy legend can take up to two items per boutique. After activating and placing her ultimate, it takes 4.5 seconds for the boutique to be accessible. After its setup has finished, any player can interact with it to open a menu similar to death boxes and choose the two items. Specifically, Loba's ultimate allows you to loot any item within a 112.5 meter radius, which is the same as her passive eye for quality. Any items within this range will actually start hovering off of the ground ever so slightly when someone is accessing the black market. When an item is grabbed from the ultimate, a teleporting trail from where the item was to the boutique will appear briefly. 
When you take a stackable item such as a shield battery or a med kit, the boutique will give you a full stack for the price of one item if available. If you play a legend who can stack items such as fuse with grenades or Watson with ultimate accelerants, you will also pick up a full stack of that item when looting. Even though you can pick up two items max per member, there's no limit to ammo and you can infinitely grab any ammo within the black market's range, giving yourself a chance to starve any nearby team off resources even if you don't actually need the ammo yourself. The black market has 100 health and can block doors, and even closer Rave portal if you place it immediately on top of it. Loba can manually destroy a black market by interacting with it with a separate key. Since only one can be active at a time, placing a new boutique will destroy the old one. Due to the two item limit, you want to make sure that both of your teammates have had their fill before placing a new one, especially if you're using it in the same place. You can keep track of how much loot your teammates have grabbed by looking at the menu which displays both what have looted and how much they have left. Contrary to popular belief, and I didn't notice myself, when there are multiple copies of the same item in the range, the black market will always pull the one far away from it. This means that you can steal and set up armor swaps even if you drop your high quality armor right next to the black market. Loba can use the black market to steal loot from locked holds such as the vault, bloodhounds trials, ramparts vending machines and the locked Icarus bridge. You actually can't loot the containers from caustic treatment unless you press the button and open them. Items from these holds are displayed with a lock icon in the menu and if you pick them up it immediately destroys the black market and sounds a loud alarm that can be heard at a distance. Try to make sure that your teammates have looted what they need before stealing from a hold yourself, as you obviously won't have a chance after it's been broken. If you are going for a third party, you can also wait for a fight to finish and then deploy the black market to steal loot and shields from the enemy team before they can loot themselves. If deployed perfectly, this might even stop them from getting armor swaps and give you a way easier fight. The black market fatigue always starts at a 50% charge at the start of the game and has an overall 2 minute charge time. Keep in mind that the ultimate accelerants only charges for 20% instead of the normal 35% for other legends. Loba wants to position herself in the middle to the backline in teamfights, but can look for flanks if she wants to while relying on the escape with her tactical. But she has to be careful about going too deep since activating the bracelet keeps you stuck in one place and unable to shoot back, and the trail makes it very easy to chase. You can use the bracelet to teleport onto flanks or high grounds over your enemies, but keep the 30 second cooldown in mind. You're completely free to play whatever guns you want as a Loba, as it depends on how your team wants to play. If you play Loba in high tier and competitive lobbies, you and your team probably want to opt for some mid-range to long-range guns since you can restock on shields and ammunition to poke and out sustain the enemy teams in the final rings. And that's about it. There's plenty more information on Loba, so if you guys want to see an advanced guide on her, let me know in the comments. Also a bit of a tangent, but Lobas are very rarely respected by their teammates or even enemy teams. If you play Loba, your teammates will probably assume that you want to loot all game, unless you tell them otherwise. In addition to this, your enemies will almost always underestimate you and might even give you free ego challenges and kills. Just expect them to do some really nonsensical plays against you. Also, after watching this guide, please try not to be that Loba, which gives all Loba players a bad rap. Just because you can loot everything doesn't mean you should. Make sure that you and your team has what you need, but don't keep constantly looting everything you see. It is a shooter, it's not a looter. And that upgrade from blue to purple stock isn't worth all that time you're spending on searching for it. If you guys want to see me get a 20 bomb on Loba using some of these tricks, that video is available on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow or in the next video. Go click.